So it's always great to see when people are using TensorFlow.js in novel ways. And today I'm joined by Benson all the way from Australia to share his project around natural language processing. So Benson, uh, tell us more about yourself and what you've created. Hi everyone, my name is Benson Rand. I'm from Sydney, Australia. I work as a tech lead in a FinTech company. I love all the cool stuff that machine learning and TensorFlow creates. I enjoy sharing knowledge and ideas with the developer community. I think machine learning and TensorFlow talk JS is fun and it can make our lives better. So it's an amazing thing to see more and more people are getting interested in TensorFlow talk JS. And thanks to Jason for having me here today to talk about my adventure of TensorFlow talk JS. Thank you very much for joining. Um... So tell us more about the project and what it does. The demo I would like to share today is about um, Twitter sentiment analysis with TensorFlow.js. Sentiment analysis is the process of analyzing a piece of online writing like tweets or comments um, to classify whether the emotion of the user is positive, negative, or neutral. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a very powerful tool for business to monitor and understand the social sentiment of the brand, the product, the service. So I've built a dashboard that you can enter a hashtag that you care about and see how people are talking about it on Twitter. Uh, maybe we can see it in action. Let's try some hashtags out, I guess. Sure thing. So let me bring up the demo page. So as you can see, this is a very simple interface. So in here, you can enter the hashtag that you care about. For example, I'd like to see how people are talking about machine learning mm -hmm. on Twitter. So I hit search, then it connects to the Twitter API, bring down some latest tweets with the hashtag machine learning. Now you can see on the left hand side, we have a pie chart to indicate the percentage that people are feeling positive or negative or neutral. And on the right hand side, I have grouped those tweets into those three classifications. And for each tweet, there's a score indicating the sentiment. So from zero to point street, it is classified as negative from 0.3 to 0.6, it is neutral. Mm -hmm. Then above 0.6, it will be positive. Awesome. And it's great to see that we're seeing 70% positive for machine learning. So clearly, everyone is very excited about this right now. That's great to see. And maybe one more for luck, um, something random again. What can we do? Feel free to pick anything you like. How about? Um, dessert. Dessert, yes. Something very dear to my heart. <laughs> I think this is definitely working as intended. Uh, I'm sure that most people are going to be positive about desserts. <laughs> very cool. So, so tell us more about how this is working behind the scenes, Then Maybe you can show us more details. Sure. So I implemented this demo by five simple steps. So start with, you need to register a Twitter API. Mm -hmm. So you need to go to the Twitter developers platform, register and create a Twitter app yeah. and generate the API key and the XX key for you to use. Sure. The second step is to get tweets from the Twitter search API. Mm -hmm. Now you connect to the Twitter search API, you pass the hashtag in your query read and then it can pull down some latest tweets from the Twitter with your hashtag. And these are pulling back tweets uh, from all time or the last few minutes or? It would be the last 10 minutes. Okay, cool. The first step is to load the sentiment model into the browser. So this is done by calling the tf.low layers model function inside TensorFlow.js. Uh -huh. yes. Then the model will be loaded into the browser. 
Then the fourth step is to predict the tweet text sentiment. So for each of the tweet text, fit the tweet text through the model that we loaded into the browser and use the model.predict function inside TensorFlow.js. Then it will perform the sentiment analysis and return a score between zero and one to indicate whether it's positive, negative, or neutral. Then the last step is just displaying it, the result in a pie chart and group those tweets into three classifications. So awesome. that's yeah. pretty much how I implemented it. I think it's simple and it would be a good starting point for beginners of machine learning to build a side project using TensorFlow.js. Cool. Well, that, that's awesome. I'm sure other people might be interested in this as well. So um, if people want to try this out right now, can they? Is this live somewhere that people can, can find this website and try it out themselves? Um, go to the URL in the description below. So that's the demos URL. I've also sure. documented the implementation details of the demo. And the source code is also available open source in GitHub. Sounds good. And I guess looking towards the future, uh, where do you see this going in the future? Are you going to turn this into like a service or maybe um, add more features? What plans do you have uh, further down the line? I think to take this to into the next level, there are several things to be on my to-do list. Firstly, I can integrate it with um, some other social media platforms like nice. Facebook, Reddit, yeah. Creo Art. Secondly, um, I can expand the model for other languages like Chinese, oh, very nice. French, yeah, that'd be very useful. French. Yeah. And lastly, I think it'd be more powerful to use it together with other neutral language processing techniques yeah. like contextual semantic search so that you can also find out what aspect of the brand is user discussing about, whether they're complaining about the price or the customer service or the product quality. Sure. So I think yeah. it would be very useful. Lots of options to explore there. Well, thank you very much for joining us today, Benson, and good luck on your future adventures. I'm sure many people might want to contribute as well, so I'm sure they'll be in touch, but thank you very much. Thank you for having me.